What's going on, fish heads? Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates of Bullshad Studios, and we've got a few pieces to show you, but you haven't seen this kind of stuff come out of me in a little while, at least not some of it. So you're seeing a few wake baits. It's spring, it's red. Uh, a couple of these are for me when I actually get the chance to go fishing, and some of them are for customers that have been longtime clients of mine. Some old stuff that I'm, I'm trying to get knocked out uh, off, off of my order list. But I'm going to start out with this. This is the finished product from that Moon Eye spray session that I did, the Easy Peasy Moon Eye pattern. And I got a lot of comments. I love it when you guys comment on those videos. But one of the prominent questions that sticks out in my mind was somebody asked, why not do the, uh, the gold lateral line and a little bit more gold detailing? The reasoning behind the method to my madness was that I see these as similar to gold eyes. Moon eyes and gold eyes are fairly similar in color. So I wanted to try and keep as many silvery aluminum kind of attributes as I could. I did do a little bit of the copper gold spray here on the, uh, the door, I'm sorry, the pectoral fin. And just a little bit here and there, you can see just a couple of gold spots through it. But most of it, I just left alone and left uh, left it for an, e an easy pattern, an easier pattern. But you would be factually accurate in asking that question. Yes, technically it would have, should have been in there. So great question. Thank you for asking. But um, just the gold eyes and the, and the golden eyes are a little bit similar to the moon eyes. These, we'll go ahead and run through. All of these have shipped out. I've got one more for uh, Tyler here at Bullshed that he's paid for. Um, so this was the last one in that limited run. This is the very cool Game of Thrones Night King. And yes, I do have permission from Game of Thrones to use that. This is a peacock special for um, Mike's son, Kevin. So that's going to be going to him. And then I've got some wake baits and some other cool stuff. So let me just run through what I have real quick. Uh, did a couple of these on um, on the Instagram feed in my story. Calling this a crypto crawl. Not crypto like kryptonite. Although I may do that in a greenish and a nuclear fluorescent green. It's got some crackle on top and hand-painted crawl stencil pattern and then a creature feature from brian best over at uh, anarchy model uk stencil did two of those it's a little chilly this morning it's gonna be like 75 degrees down here in ackworth today this i'm super happy with how these came out uh, I've done rock bass before, but I was really looking for some kind of a different pattern. And wake baits are some of my favorite. Wake baits and probably lipless when I'm not throwing swim baits because now I'm really making a commitment to learn and understand and throw swim baits. And one of the things that I've got lined up in the next couple of weeks is to actually give you a fishing session with the new Mike Buca uh, Dobbins Bullshad Swim Bait Rod. Um, so that's going to be coming probably in the next couple of weeks. I've been throwing it pretty heavy. Um, just need to make a few connections and get the, uh, the footage for you guys on video. But really stoked about these little wake baits. These are some of my favorite wake baits to paint. And that real pretty double coat of KBS. But just a fun pattern. And again, these are also creature feature stencils. This is uh, a snake skin, and this is uh, just a modeled creature feature. And that's all uh, Anarchy Model Stencils UK. It's the other one of those. These are Jetson Eyes. Jetson has uh, a, an overstock thing going on. You'll find his link in the description below. Um, all of the places that I frequently use for custom work and custom eyes and stencils can find all that stuff down below. So when you scroll through the, uh, the information in the description, keep going because there is a laundry list of stuff that I keep in there for you guys. Um, I don't always get it. Uh, sometimes I use exclusive stuff for videos, like a one-off or two-off. You can certainly ask me about those. These are from, Bri uh, yeah, Brian... 
over at Dinger. There's lots of Brian's today in the video. Um, these are these deep and also some creature feature snake skin. But red, red, red. This time of year, folks, you should, if you're not throwing red, don't throw anything at all. For real. Red is probably the hot color for spring fishing. Yeah, I know you're watching, Tina. Tina, if you want these, um, shout at me. Tina is uh, up in Michigan and fishes the Great Lakes a lot with her brother, and they run a trolling service and fishing service, guide service, heavy hitters. She does a lot of competition, so she loves, loves, loves these, and they, they, they hook up. They do very well with these baits. So Brian over at Dinger Baits, find him for the blanks. Very, very good quality. Also, you can either get these from Dinger or Cedar Run. Actually, I think a lot of the folks probably carry over Backwaters got them these days. Um, these are those little replicas of the duos, and they also swim extremely well. And this is just a little spring craw in a rust. One of the locals that fishes quite a bit around here says rust, rust, red rust in the spring. So I have fashioned something hopefully that will work real well for this area. And then I did a darker version of it. I've got owner stingers on here. So there are those. I am frantically working on orders and catching up. Now that the store is open, I, if you guys want to see a tour, just not an opening event, but if you guys want to see a tour of the entire Bullshad shop, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to do that. There's a couple of things that we are, want to start doing on a regular basis here. One of those is go through a new set of tutorials for everything that Mike has in his lineup. Um, we're gonna, we started with the soft tail. I think the next one, we just put branches in the tank. So the next one should be the four by four. This is the time of year to be fishing that four by four. Um, so we will certainly bring that to you, hopefully within the next couple of days. And then some rats. Um, everything that has been sold in the drops is shipped and out the door. Uh, you guys should have received your tracking information in the mail. If for some reason you did not hit me up. Uh, I left this very transparent, just real thinned out paint, reduced paint, a little bit of gold yellow on the belly, and a light red wash on top with those, the fan air br or the fan uh, brush to do the fur, the mottled fur, and then just some darker solids. And this is that double again, double coat of KBS. And, you know, I was talking with Bill Barton when he was here at the VIP event and we go back and forth with, you know, people use different things. I'm not going to divulge what he used. I don't even think I asked him what he used for clear coat, but we had a very lengthy conversation about KBS and, you know, Bill's like, you know, it, it's not for everybody, but if, if you store it properly and you use it properly, it is just as good. There's no reason to, to knock it or not use it. So uh, a lot of the guys do use it out there. So I still support it. I still like it. It has done very well. And the guys that use it regularly, I don't get complaints out of those guys. Um, it can be a little finicky, but it does very well. It, all, it has for me. And then the last piece that I'm going to show you, a couple of duo right here of these wake baits is in that electric blue. These are candy colors. You guys probably already guessed that somebody was probably out there yelling candy coat. Yep, that's candy. Createx candy 2.0 colors. They are beautiful. So that is all the news that's fit to print today for you guys. That's what I've got for you. Thank you guys for hanging out on the channel. I appreciate it. I love all you guys very, very much. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.